world's largest button assortment, games, toys, and more. Formula 350 Collectibles. Dumpsterware.com. Go buy some merch. Warning, the following podcast contains adult language, adult situations, and lots and lots and lots of sexual innuendos. Viewer discretion is advised. Yes. Yeah, I wouldn't let any kid listen to this fucking garbage. Ho, ho, ho. You're listening to Gassy Radio, your source for all things gaming, animated, superhero news, and entertainment. Here are your hosts, Randy and Luigi. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new episode of Gassy Radio, out on a Saturday. I know we keep picking our dates, but fuck you, you'll listen anyway. I'm Randy Lee Beasley. I'm Luigi Bernano. And I'm Kermit with a C. All right. And uh, we're fucking getting in the spirit, man. It's almost Christmas time. Well, it's almost 2018. I'm not ready. I'm fucking so ready, because I have so much shit I want to fucking open and play. You know, you can play with my... Nope, not doing it. Let's get in the gaming, motherfucker. <laughs> when you're feeling low and you want to shoot someone in the face, it's the gaming section. Because you can't do it in real life or to go to jail. Gaming section, you fucking chodes. Shout out to our sponsors, Formula 350 Collectible and Dumpsterware.com. Nothing to do with chodes, it's just I want to make sure you get your shout out. Soul Calibur... Six is coming. VI. There was a leak. And they're owning up to it. They're like, yeah, fuck it. We're announcing it. Tap it. After all these years? Mm-hmm. I'm hoping for a Breath of the Wild version of Link. Uh, because there's rumors that they're going to be doing console-exclusive characters again. Like when Ooh, we got Spawn beautiful. and all that other good shit. I'm looking forward to it very well. Remember Spawn was on the Xbox One? No, that was I the didn't because I never played the Xbox One. Uh, Andre, he had uh, Xbox, we had Spawn. I had it on GameCube, so I had Link. And I think PlayStation... Kratos wasn't even a thing yet, dude. I don't know who PlayStation was. I forgot. But anyway. Was it Cole? I think it was Cole. It was infamous. Cole. Because it was PlayStation 3. It was the last time that... Uh... No, I'm talking about back in the day when it was GameCube, Xbox, and PS2. So it wasn't Cole. Um... I'm pretty sure it was someone from Final Fantasy. Because it was on, you know, place. I'm pretty sure it was, uh, not Cloud. It was some dude with a oh, fucking shit. I, we're going to look that up eventually. Um, there was also a Devil May Cry 5 leak as well. And it says it's coming out next summer. That's another cool thing. That's Check that shit. Because I don't have much more for gaming. I don't have anything more for gaming except... Uh, look forward to me and hopefully Luigi, if he comes over, streaming the fuck out of some Super Mario Odyssey after Christmas into the new year. Uh, and probably streaming some Overcooked, because it's a highly addictive multiplayer game. We're two chefs, up to four chefs, actually. Have to try to make dishes and do all these crazy things. Uh, Jelani from Pop Samurai, shout out, got me super addicted into it. Um, I don't remember which Soul Calibur it was. Uh, Soul Calibur PS2 Spawn, or... Er, PS2 exclusive character, yes. Let's see, who was it? Soul Calibur 2 was for the GameCube. Oh, the dude from fucking Tekken. The old yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Right. Um, he was the exclusive, then it was Link for GameCube, and it was Spawn for Xbox, and that was the shit. Because I, I remember now, because I'm like, that dude doesn't even have a fucking sword. That doesn't even make sense. Everyone else has a sword. Spawn has, like, the demon blade. Oh, it's cool, but whatever. Um, now I would have to think they would put Dante... In for like if they did the exclusive thing again, mm, I would say Dante or Kratos. Right, because he has the double blade. So the well, they could what they could be doing is waiting till after the next God of War. I feel like Dante would be <clears> like <throat> a, a bonus character for every system. Right, I feel like on, Kratos would definitely be the place. Right, because I feel they're gonna wait till after the next God of War, so this way he'll have the axe. And they've already made a female Spartan. It was in Dead or Alive, the fucking fighting volleyball, and fighting game slash the volleyball game, like that series. Okay. They had a female Spartan. So it'd be cool if maybe Xbox got Master Chief or someone from Destiny. Right. And then um, Switch, probably, again, probably. No, not somebody from Destiny because uh, Destiny's on all consoles. Right, but fuck. So um, Halo, definitely. Like, it'd be cool to see Master Chief. Or Gears Chief. of War. Oh, that would be 100% the fucking chainsaw thing. That would exactly. be Exactly. 
That would definitely be it now. But then, you know, start getting cheap with the shooting and everything. Yes. He'd be the only character to do it, so you might be right with Master Chief and he'd have the, uh, the, uh, beam sword. He had the elites fucking the thing. Yep. Man, I'm, that's all I got. You got anything for gaming? Um, no, not really. Hey, at least we're back. Fuck you. Um, I've been playing Insurgents, uh, Rockets versus Insurgents, and I miss you, dude. Yeah, I, I can't get back into it. It, like, really got boring for me. Kind of like Doom did, but I I haven't gotten rid of Doom. Did I get rid of Doom? No, you didn't. Um, I know it I know it gets boring, but you always want to go back to it, and I'm having fun again, and there's new, new I shit. I just have too many new games to play to, like... Like, all the new games on the 2DS, like, I have to beat fucking Ultra Sun, and I have to fucking... I know, I just play it when I'm, like, really bored, and I don't feel like playing the games that I'm, like, really, really, really trying to pay attention to, when I just kind of want to let my mind go and just shoot some rockets at some fucking cars that are coming out of yeah. my face. I'll see, I'll, maybe I'll get it again, because I, I deleted all the fucking storage out of there for all the new games, so I would have to restart I just zero. picked up a uh, hard drive for my system, 4 terabyte. Nice. Yeah, so I got all my games back on there. Yeah, I, again, I just, uh, when the craving comes, I'll probably eventually get it. But right now, I uh, will not be on GTA V. <laughs> oh, fuck. You've been saying you've had the craving, and then you don't have the craving. Yeah. Then you do, then you don't. But I'm... Um, I have to. I'll Call of Duty, fucking... Get, <laughs> I'd probably play it if you bought it for me. <laughs> I know. Because you feel bad. Is it 20 bucks now? Uh, yeah, Black Friday sale. Oh, it was Black Friday sale. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't want your fucking I think get like, a like That's what you get. Uh, if right. you can't think of anything for my birthday, just get that. But if it's fucking back up to $50, no. No, I think it's, uh, like 40 bucks now. 30, 40 bucks. Oh, well, technically, uh, this is one more thing before we do end the gaming. Um, uh, it is technically gaming. GameStops have exclusive 8 bit Mega Mans and uh, 8 bit Mega Man variants where he's in the red armor from the original game. No shit. Um, I have not been to a GameStop to try to get one or whatever. I, I don't if want you it. Find them, pick yeah. them up for me, please. Like, yeah, I haven't been in there, but they are out there. If anybody out there is listening, I would love a Mega Man. It's yeah, it's so badass. Hey, I'll show you a picture here in a second. But yeah, let's get in the anime section. Anime, animated assholes, possibly. Oh, I think it's everything like that, and all rolled up into one fat fucking blunt. It's the anime section, and we I'm have... I'm off now. Yes, I just told him a story, a truth story, before this, and yes, uh, about the They're, they're gonna the give dark. vengeance. Yeah, I'm, I'm pissed now. Um, and I also showed him the 8-bit... Well, he pulled it up, but I did tell him about it. The 8-bit Mega Man pops. Anyway, let's get into this shit, man. All right, Rick and Morty released a fucking... There's lots of talk going on that there's actually a true season finale that they've been working on that comes out Christmas. Well, let's hope. Fingers crossed that that's real. But they did release a video, um, Mr. Poopy Butthole. It was like his life story. It's him sitting on the chair um, from like when they first showed him at the end of season two when he orders the pizza. Right. Sitting in the chair, he's going through like his fucking scrapbook and he has his family. Uh, before he gets to the family, like you see him going through the therapy and all this shit. And you see that it was actually him practicing to propose to his girlfriend with Morty and that one thing um, that Rick erased from Morty's mind. Um... And then you see he gets engaged, and they have a dog, and then the fucking dog has to get put down, and they're all crying. It gets really fucking dark, but then they have a baby, sure. and all this other shit, and then he has a, a second kid, and it's, it was a nice little video, but it's also confirming, like, hey, keep watching, we're not done yet. And I'm very much looking forward to it. As I told you, it's, okay. it's, it was good news. And watch the little video, there's some really funny parts, there's some really fucked up parts, which is the best part about Rick and Morty. Yes. But this is what I need to talk about, man. New Dragon Ball Super, English is cool, um, they're finishing up like they're they tease the fucking universal survival arc just just like they did in the japanese version so eventually here we're going to be getting the english dub of the future trunks black goku arc also they announced that uh on funimation's actual website in batches the first batch will be of 25 episodes um once they're going to be releasing the english dub for free on funimation's website so you don't have to fucking tivo or watch Fucking Toonami. Toonami gets first rights, and after every 25 episodes Toonami airs, two weeks after the last one that aired, they get them all dubbed, put on their website. So oh, you that's can play catch up. Yes. You know what? Funimation is one of the better, I believe. Fuck yeah. One dude. of the better animators. Oh, yes. Um, but here's, here's the big news, man. Uh, Toriyama revealed in an interview 
and official artwork that, besides the tingly back-feeling sayings get that he yeah. described in Super that we all talk shit about, S-cells are needed for a saying to go Super Saiyan, and not all Saiyans have S-cells in them. Hmm. So it's possible maybe that's why Pan never went Super Saiyan in GT. Who knows? But there's a good reason here. And then they fucking, he released the image and who was the official fucking Super Saiyan God. The one that Beerus had the dream of. The original first one from so long ago. Because Shenron even says, you know, this happened a long time ago, but it did happen. Here's the ritual. His name is, I swear to God, Yamosho Yamcha. And he is a descendant of Vegeta. Looks just like Vegeta yes. with the mustache. And that's cool how it's not fucking Goku's. Relative. Like I'm very happy. Oops, shit. I'm very happy. What the hell is that? I'm br I'm very happy they did that. Like I I was hoping it wasn't something fucking stupid and everything. But, and it's Vegeta's relative. But here's the the bigger issue, dude. It's also Goku's relative. Right. Well, because they all descend from Saiyans, right? Exactly. And he was the the first ever Saiyan. That's that. I read the same article. He was the first ever Saiyan. The f well, technically, well, the movie, the movies aren't. <clears throat> or the fine, the final Saiyans, and then he turned into like the legendary Super Saiyan. Um, he is both the legendary Super Saiyan and the first Super Saiyan God. And after it rate, like he said in the article, as soon as he lost his power, he was defeated. Well, I I thought that he, um, that it said in the article that they're not the same person. They are. The, the thing just came. But in. they're related. The article like the came out today. Yeah, right. we're revealed like we're revealed his name and everything. He was the first Saiyan to go Super Saiyan to defend his race, legendary Super Saiyan, and he is the first Super Saiyan God. After it, the power faded because he couldn't control it, he was killed. And also, you got to remember the Bardock TV specials are canon, so technically, you're right. Bardock fucks the alien people that eventually becomes Planet Vegeta in the race. So even though Vegeta has this, the royal blood, it's like if Bardock didn't, whatever, go sent back in time, whatever, blah, 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 that wouldn't have happened. But that I'm so happy Bardock's not the legendary Super Saiyan. I'm so happy Goku is not the legendary Super Saiyan. And I'm happy fucking non-canon, doesn't count, Broly is not the super legendary Super Saiyan. It's fucking an ancestor of Vegeta. Oh, God. And that makes me happy. I don't care if he's related to Goku or not. It just makes me so happy that it's not that's like why I think Goku's great 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 grandfather. But I I think that that's why Goku ha is gaining all these abilities too. I also do like I agree, but I also disagree a little bit. I just know like the difference is like how Goku was raised and like all the different training and mentors he had and all this shit. Like that was the same with the scrambled brain. And um, if but anything, Vegeta and Goku might be related as like distant, distant, distant cousins because Toriyama has stated that you know, if he wanted to <clears throat> Goten could have married Bola because they're not related they could have had another spawn, maybe right. so, I'm just again, I'm just glad right, that right, it wasn't right. distant, distant cousins, but I mean like everybody descends from this one being that's why I'm saying which is technically Bardock, not this Vegeta relative he needs to elaborate more on what. that's why it was a little tease, a little taste and I like how he threw Yamcha is his official last name. That's fucking hilarious. That is. That's such a slap in Yamcha's face. What if, what if Yamcha becomes a fucking god? <laughs> Yamcha's actually a Saiyan. <laughs> no, Yamcha's actually the, the god, of, the um, original god of destruction. I'd fucking laugh so fucking much. But yeah, th but that, that's it, man. So there was some good news, and I'm just again happy that it's fucking not. But have you noticed that Yamcha has not aged? He has not aged. He just got a haircut. Exactly. He he doesn't age. Dun, dun, dun. And uh, it all revolves. <laughs> the entire series revolves around. It's be like Roseanne. It's just Yamcha writing a book, and he's like, "Actually, Goku died on Namek. The rest of this shit's fake." End of series. Right. And then when they reboot it for Netflix, they'll be like, "That was fake." Right. <laughs> anyway, man. Uh, New South Park, uh, there was like a thick two-week break, man. I thought it was, the season was over, because sometimes they do only do eight episodes. They are doing ten, because the ninth episode came out this past Wednesday, and it was pretty fucking funny. It starts with Cartman and his girlfriend fighting, and we fucking, like, bomb Canada, because an old, old... Like, this is the, what pissed me off a little bit, but it's weird. The boys haven't aged. They're still in fifth grade. Or fourth grade. Fourth grade, I'm sorry. And they haven't aged. 
but Terrence and Philip have aged, and they're super old. There's no explanation for it. So it's kind of like time has passed, but the boys haven't aged. It's really annoying, honestly. Um, but they do have this Netflix special, and they start farting on old people and other old people and cows and shit, and the boys are liking it. The whole, there's a whole backstory of Kyle being like, I don't fucking, why didn't I even find this shit funny to be with? This fucking, this fucking sucks. And then that's what gets Mr. Garrison to fucking, because he's the president, to bomb Canada, and it's a two-parter. And the finale, the season finale, is next Wednesday. Beautiful. It was intense, but it was a lot less political. It was funny. That's when they do their best work, I think. Right. And I, I think <clears> also <throat> since they had such a big break with Thanksgiving and everything, they needed that little refresher. Yeah, I think it was just time to recharge the, the old noggin. Yes. and Because uh, I'm sure South Park isn't the only thing that they work on over the year. No. No, it is not. Um, and then uh, Howl's Moving Castle is in select cinemas now. I do love that movie. It looks pretty fuck. I've never watched it or anything, but it looks fun. Oh, it's it's very interesting. And um, the second trailer for the Batman Ninja anime. This is a segue oh, in the Super Hero section. Saw that. It came out, and I'm actually looking forward to this more than I was looking forward to Killing Joke, because I don't think this can disappoint me as much as Killing Joke did. When me, you, and Michael J went to see yeah. it. Yeah. Because it was cool. It was. It was. But it was hit. legitimately when we got to the fucking part. It was word for word verbatim what happens in the comic instead of doing their little touches here and there. And right. that whole Batgirl thing was unnecessary. Right. Fucking Batman and shit. Weird. Fandom. Yeah. Just like how Nightwing fucks Harley Quinn in the Harley Quinn movie, in the fucking Batman Harley Quinn animation. And I guess this is the same thing too. They go into superhero section. Harley Quinn is getting her own animated series as well. Watch it just be her fucking a new superhero Too every other episode. Oh, Charlie Quinn. <laughs> but yeah, since it's a segue that animated shit, let's get into the fucking... Do you have any more anime news? I don't fucking know. No. Yay! Let's fucking... Not that I don't like doing this, I just... Unfortunately, I have to go to work. But, and I smell and I'm still in my Minecraft pajamas with my DC boxers and a great okay, fucking shirt. okay, I got shirt. some Superman pajamas on. It's, it's pajama day in the office today. Hell yeah, a fucking Christmas presents everywhere... Oh, yeah, it actually kind of feels like Christmas morning. <laughs> There's fucking Pokemon trainer boxes right. everywhere and video games. That's what I should do. I'm gonna come over here Christmas morning. We're gonna do a pod we're gonna do a podcast right after opening presents. Oh god, we'll <laughs> be so happy. Let's go into the superhero <laughs> section. Hi, I'm Robocop Batman, and you're listening to the superhero section. Who has a feather in my ass to stop that? Superhero section, it's fixed. It was just a little glitchy yep. thing. All right, dude. The fucking Avengers Infinity War trailer, not the oh one from Comic Con that was like I thought that one was a little bit better, but we got one. The public got one, and it's pretty fucking dope. Pretty badass, man. It it it's starts beautiful. off with like what Nick Fury said in the end of Iron Man about the Avengers Initiative, but it's different cast members throughout the year saying it, and then oh my god, and then like Spider Man's fucking Spidey sense, and you see fucking Thanos' ship and. His suit and Tony getting decked and all this good fucking shit. Watch the trailer. It broke like 234 million views in the first 12 hours. Yeah, it was it was phenomenal. I'm sure YouTube allows Marvel to make money off their AdSense. Ha ha! Cocksuckers. Darren's officially stopping Daily Dose of Weird News and Weird Darkness on YouTube because he can no longer make money off it. It's just going to go nowhere, essentially. Like, so... Hopefully we still get it. I think he's going to put it on like his Stitcher account or something. I don't know. Oh, shit. But anyway, this isn't the fuck YouTube section. This is the superhero section. Fuck um, YouTube, anyway. <laughs> the Rock's Black Adam character will debut in Suicide Squad 2. Now that they're actually the not Rock making The Rock is just in Adam fucking movie. everything. He is. And honestly, I don't think he's a good actor. I think he's the same performance in every movie. He's the same tone, the same look in every fucking movie. Like, look at Moana. He just sounds like like he's fucking like the rock, right? Like it's just, there's no differential there, man. I think can it's you smell most... what I'm cooking. You're welcome. <laughs> That's chicken. <laughs> so I just can't. I don't know, man. Uh, but I'm, yes, he I'd is. rather I just have him be a character in Suicide Squad too, as opposed to getting a Black Adam movie with the Rock. I think that's too much for such a fucking minuscule character. I give no shits about. Josh Whedon was dropped from Batgirl. Really? After the backlash from Justice League. He's getting shit on. Steiner's getting shit on. Studio's getting Why? shit on. 
because he made it too happy and too jokey. That's the thing I don't get about. Like, I, for comics, I'm a DC fan first. For movies, it's Marvel. I don't understand the DC fandom when it comes to the movies. I really like this last one. I liked it too. They're, they they complain that Schneider's fucking it up, and they get Josh Whedon, and then after the movie comes out, they're complaining Josh Whedon fuck things up. Like these DC fanboys have no fucking qualms. They're fuck. Honestly, you guys are fucking stupid. Get over yourselves. Hey, I'm a DC fanboy, and I say that movies are fucking awesome. Just fucking deal with it. I am a DC fanboy only in comics, because it's from the superior section. The fucking Watchmen crossover has been great so far. There's a new Rorschach and everything. It's really fucking cool, man. You can pick up the issues. I would. They're fucking hard to get now. But not if you're on a poll list. Um, yeah, well, I need to figure out what's going on with all my polls, where they went... Because if they, they're gone, I'm going to kick somebody in the head. Pretty sure they're gone. Last time I checked, you don't have a name thing in there. And I understand, like, after, like, nine months, if you don't buy comics, or something like that, I forgot what the rules are, they take you off, because... Uh, whatever. It's all right. At least there's a reason no, behind my, it. No, my vintage. All your variants are gone. My variants. Um, it's okay. I had to fucking have... Go Go Power Rangers issue 3 ordered for me and issues 4 ordered for me and actually get order, issue 5 ordered for the whole store because someone just forgot to order it. <laughs> so anyway, um, Kevin Feig, Feige, whatever you want to call him, man, says they have 22 more films to go and Avengers 4 will wrap up what they started with Iron Man in 2008. And with the Fox Disney deal actually still going and talking about definitely think that I just want them like it just needs to be the world changing event and they just need to have the world start over but mutants are in it like they, they need they can do something unique with it I think they can and I told you that was going to continue on right uh the the big deal about buying the whole studio ended but Fantastic Four and X-Men are being shopped around still to Disney right they're still trying... Because that's the only reason why they were going to buy the entire studio anyway was just to get the X-Men because they were being... It's about it the first time. Because Fox will not sell... You're not they didn't want to... But... They don't want to fucking um, do... Uh, they don't want to give the Star... Like, they own the right still to the original three Star Wars movies in the name with the Fox logo and everything. That's still a moneymaker for them. Residuals and everything. They don't want Disney to get their hands on those, but they'll gladly be like, eh, Wolverine's dead. Instead of rebooting it, let's let them do it. Fuck it. Right. Um, but yeah, 22 more films, man, before a reboot happens, I guess. I don't know. And if they do get the X-Men, I guarantee you that number's going to go up. Oh, yeah, of course. Because then they can have X-Men versus I'm Avengers. I'm going to die before the end of this. Oh, wait, we're all going to be dead. It's going to outlive the sun. <laughs> yep. Um, the Runaways sucks. I don't like it. Does it? The, yeah, Marvel's Runaways. I don't, I'm not a fan. What the fuck is happening with my phone? You what know, Marvel dead? can't do fuck? Marvel can't do TV. Okay, my phone is having a they fucking can do cinematic shit fit here. Very well. Um, DC can't do shit. <laughs> I do like the 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 new Justice League movie, but uh, everybody's pissed off at everything. Right. The only thing I'm pissed off at Justice League is why they couldn't just shave him. Well, the and only thing prosthetic. DC can do is animated very well. Except animating uh, no fucking mustached face on Harvey Havel. That's the only annoying part for me for Justice League. But that's the only thing I have to complain about. Um, yeah. Fucking, speaking of the whole Fox X-Men thing, a major character will die in X-Men The Dark Phoenix. And not like a side character, like either the young Magneto, the young Patrick Stewart, the young Mystique. Something, someone big is going to die. Yay. Who cares? No more fucking uh, Hugh Jackman. No more giving a fuck for me. I'm not even... I will watch right. Dark Phoenix on the Kindle stick fire. What? What was that? I don't know what I just said. You said something about putting a stick up your pee-pee fire. <sighs> James Franco's Multiple Man X-Men film. <clears throat> Marvel film, whatever the fuck. Um, will be a hard R, like Deadpool and Logan. That's pretty fucking baller. Maybe now I'll actually give a shit about Multiple Man. Ooh. And uh, my last piece of news I have for Superhero is The Flash's recasting Iris West. What? 
the yeah. the actress is not uh, is not going to be signed on for the next season. They're recasting her. Why? There has not been this crazy of a change in an African American <clears throat> actress since fucking Carlton's mom in Fresh Prince of Bel Air when it switched to the Second Life. You know why? Like this is Iris West. This is what we've known for like four seasons. Why? Yep. They're just done with her. She doesn't want to come back, and they're done with her. So they're just recasting. So then he's going to have an, an alternate timeline thing again. But the other Iris West will never come back. Right, but they're going to have an alternate timeline thing. Of course, because why listen to fans and let's just keep changing time. Let's keep fucking shit up. That's why I stopped watching The Flash, honestly. That used to be my favorite fucking DC show, and I just don't give a fuck about any of them now. I, I really like the series, dude. Like, it's picked up. It's really good. It's interesting. They just had this amazing fucking wedding, like, four-parter for The Flash. Yeah, well, on Crisis on in Infinite Earths, man, a lot of people die. Uh, I guess that's true. But, uh, yeah, no, that, that's that's happening. Is that what they're leading up to, you think? What? Crisis on Infinite Earths. Oh, that's Earths. happening. You haven't seen the trailers on the CW and everything? Yeah, that's 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 the next big fucking, like, crossover special, man. It's happening. Oh, Pretty sure, actually, it happened. I've only watched two episodes. Like the, I watched The Flash and I watched Arrow. No, it was Crisis of Earth X. It's... I, I Yeah, I, I I just went through that. It, nobody died. Nobody died? Nobody died. One, one person died. One person died. No, a lot of people died from Earth X. Yeah, nobody died except for one person. No way. Yeah. Dude, I have a whole list of the people who died from it. From it. I'll pull it up right now. Hold on. Like in the TV show? Yeah. The Professor. No, I'm talking about none of the heroes or main characters died, except for the, just that one. There's, Besides the heroes and main villains, there's, there's a multiple deaths. Give me one second. Crisis on... And it's actually, it's, it's, is Crisis on Infinite Earths, but that's the, the fucking stylistic way they... Crisis sex. Right. Um, yeah, uh, everyone who died in the Arrow crossover, here. Um, Earth X, James Olsen, uh, Guardian. Earth X, Tommy Merlin, who, uh, is part of Star's Labs, dude. Uh, right, right, but I'm, I'm talking about the heroes. The heroes only. That's what I'm talking right, about. Right, no, I didn't say heroes, I said... These are, there's lots of deaths in it. Right, right, there's lots of deaths, but I'm just I talking mean, fucking about... Earth X Wally are But you fucking... were saying that they might just get rid of her and Earth X... It's already done. So. Right, and then... Uh, that was the fuck, most fucked up death was Earth X Oliver Queen. That one was fucked up. Oh, yeah, that was really fucked um, up. I'm gonna kill you! And then Martin Stein. But yeah, no, see, there, there was a couple good deaths, man. Like, a lot. Uh, but... Oh, they dragged that, that Martin thing... Out. And, but, but my whole thing, like, the actress is just done with the flesh. Like, she just pretty much gave her, in the equivalent of Hollywood, without breaching contract, I guess. She's just like, yeah, I'm done. And like, okay, well, we're recasting. They're, they didn't offer her more money or anything. They're like, fuck you. We'll get someone else. But yeah, man. I, that's all I have for here. I wanted to end here on a down note, because that's what life is, is a series of down endings. Wow. That's from Clerks. Kevin Smith's head. Got any more super hero news? Yeah. Did you hear about the one with the lily pad lingler? Let's just get on with the, the lily pad lingler. <laughs> ah, yes. Welcome to the entertainment section. They brought me to the final section in there. Great. Fuck you guys. Enjoy the entertainment, assholes. Entertainment section, and of course, uh... The obituaries. Huh? Yes. <laughs> uh, rest in peace to David Cassidy. Great actor. Yeah, Gassy Radio. Very inappropriate. I'm sorry it had to happen. That name sounds so familiar to me. Name a, name a couple things that he was in. Uh, he was in a bunch of westerns. He was in the Partridge family. And a bunch of movies. Oh, okay. I think I know who you're talking uh, about. And then, uh, rest in peace, Jim Nebors. Gomer Pyle, man. Gomer Pyle. He gone. <laughs> it's not funny. Um, anyway, let's get into the happy news, dude. Mystery Science Theater 3000 gets renewed, and I do like the kind of rebooted sequel aspect of it. I do like really? watching shitty old movies and making fun yeah. of it. They don't overly swear, which is good. 
Yeah. It's, so it's, they, they find these funny ways to make you laugh, and I enjoyed that. Fuck off with the iCloud storage shit. I don't give a fuck about iCloud or... Like, I don't, I don't use iCloud. That's how inappropriate things get posted to the internet and stolen. No, no, no. Thiefhappening.com <laughs> Fucking sponsor us. We got our <laughs> first look at Fantastic Beasts 2. The Grindelwald, whatever the fuck. I haven't. I bought the first one for my wife. We haven't watched it yet. I don't care. It's okay. I didn't like it. Like I didn't like the fact that they were fucking sucking on Harry Potter's cock with the whole Harry Potter theme. Harry Potter's theme in the trailers. And I'm like, it's a fucking Harry Potter movie, man. I think they're just kind of using it as the overall J.K. No, it, Rolling series thing. It's and Harry's it's, theme, it's stu- man. Know, yeah, and they're stupid. trying to that, and people are... I don't like <clears> that. <throat> make it your own theme. Fucking... You know they're eventually, in a couple of years, going to make the Cursed Child movie. You know they're going to fucking do it. Because uh, Hermione is doing a little bit good, but Ron and Harry have said some indie films. They ain't doing shit. Yeah. You know they're going to be like, to how many millions? Okay, I'll be fucking Harry Potter again. Vimpicus the Code of Coordinates, those fucking thing. Yeah, okay. You know that's going to happen. Yeah, probably. Um, They're going to have to suck on that Hogwarts stick a little more for some extra cash. Last week's Ghost Adventures, not the one that comes out tonight, uh, was pretty cool. It was in the Titanic Museum. Um, I get the fact that like some objects can have ghosts printed on them and everything, but and some crazy stuff did happen, but there was this whole thing with like fingerprints being there randomly and like all this other shit. Like, literally, they walked by... And all of a sudden, Zach's like, there's fingerprints here, or whatever. I'm like, okay. And the lady's like, I swear we cleaned them. And then, like, when it comes back from commercial, like, Zach's like, fingerprints just appeared before our eyes. And I'm like, no, they didn't. They were fucking, you walked by and they were there. You did not see fingerprints just form. So that was my first taste ever, besides hearing stories and stuff. Very few. Not like Ghost Hunters, which is totally fake now. Uh, it was my first time I personally saw something and I was like, besides, like, yeah, right, bullshit, like, just jokey, like, who cares? This is the first time I was like, this motherfucker just construed his words around and make it seem like they just randomly appeared on there. But they didn't. Like, they walked by and he's like, oh, there's fingerprints here. And the fucking lady from Titan is like, oh yeah, we watched it before he came. So, I call bullshit. I call shenanigans. But it was a good episode, but there's a lot of haunting shit. No demons, thankfully. Uh, there's a lot of haunted shit just for a museum. That has a couple... I mean, I get it. Some of the shit could bring ghosts with it or whatever. Right. But then Zach's like... This museum is bringing back spirits from the dead. I'm like, no, I don't think that would, like, people who died who survived the Titanic. He's like, this person's here. I'm like, no, why? Why would he, why would he be there? The museum just opened up, like, fucking six years ago. Why right. would his ghost come? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some shit like that where it's just getting a little aggravating. Still like Ghost Adventures. Still love them. But, yeah. Give us the fucking Indiana Demon House, you bastard. I want to see that documentary, Zach. I haven't seen an actual documentary from you since the fucking original Ghost Adventure. You ever seen that shit? No. It's terrifying. We need to watch that one time. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh, but yeah. This winter. This winter. Coming this winter. Dragons and fucking zombies. <laughs> um, in a lackluster... We're going dragons and zombies. Yes. All right. In a lackluster announcement, man, uh, Morgan was the character announced for the Fear, the Walking Dead, and Walking Dead crossover. Like, it couldn't have been Daryl. couldn't have been someone cool. It's fucking Morgan. You see him in the beginning of season one, and you don't see him again until season fucking five. Like, it's yeah. so annoying. Like, they pick a shitty character. I'm sorry. Not the actor's fault. It's just the writing. Like, fuck you. Yeah. Um, or well, couldn't have been Glenn. That could have been their way, because it takes place in the past. Why couldn't that have been... Like, hey, Glenn's back. He's not really back, but he's back. Right. But hey, maybe... maybe uh, who knows? They um, don't do fan service well like DBZ does. No. <laughs> <laughs> Arby's is in the process of buying Buffalo Wild Wings for $2.4 billion. They originally announced it was two point eight, then they Wait, said two point nine. Didn't they shut down half the Arby's because they were nope. not making money? Nope. Nope. And then Arby's is going to be buying B-dubs for $2.4 million. Billion. Sorry. B with a billion. Oh, and they're beautiful. not they're not going to be touching it though. They're not going to be adding RB shit to the restaurants. They just know it's profitable and they're taking it over. Um I put this in here. We already talked about it a little bit. Uh We talked about it in person. Uh Ghosted sucks. Craig Robinson and the dude from, and the other dude from Hot Tum Time Machine 2 who plays the son of John Cusack's character who didn't return, the guy who didn't return. Uh Ghosted is horrible. Uh it's it's such a shitty show. There's like I only watched the pilot and I'm like, "Nope." 
garbage. Wow. Uh, future Man, I put Future Man is good. It is good. Oh my god, so phenomenal. I can't wait for and season it's two. Fucking, you know, the producer and one of the co it's fucking Seth Rogen, so you know right. that's really good. Um, oh, it's beautiful, dude. Fuck yeah. Um, the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer is supposed to be coming soon. Within the next week. Very excited. I'm a giant Jurassic Park fan. Jurassic yeah, World. This will be fun. That'll be a good one. Um, Sabrina, the dark fucking reboot of Sabrina the Teenage Witch, has moved from CW and has got a Netflix deal, and they were already greenlit for two fucking seasons, man. I can't wait to watch that shit. That's going to be entertaining. And then, of course, Stranger Things Season 3 is officially announced and happening. Oh, of course. So we know that was going to happen, but still, how popular it is and all that shit. And then, dude, uh, do you have any news? No, I'm, I'm just waiting for the ranch, dude. Uh, I can't get into that after with all the Danny Masterson fucking bullshit. You know, fingers are being pointed at a lot of people. There's uh, Danny Masterson has like, if you're going to look like at like at the bad people like Harvey Weinstein, Danny Masterson, there's so much proof against him. But the lawyers and the company that he worked for in the past, they're not saying anything. Mm. Like I get it, how like everyone can fucking be like, like what did David be like? Luigi sexually harassed me. That's gonna happen on Gassy Radio, the trial of the century. Um, but no, there's definitely I punch a, him in the day. There's a bunch of <laughs> fucked up shit happening. But yeah, no, I just can't, man, because I used like, <clears throat> the animation was fucking hilarious to me, and then like seeing all this shit, I'm like, what a fucking scumbag. I don't know, man. Well, I mean, some of the funniest I might people that we it. have around are probably it's scumbags. It's kind of like, um, like what, like with people I don't associate myself with anymore, and they're in like an old movie of mine. Like I just watched I'm No Hero. And one of the supporting characters, don't talk to that guy anymore. Right. And then one of the small characters who kills you, don't fucking yeah. talk to that guy anymore. But I don't look at it like, oh, God, I don't want to watch this. We spent so much time on it. I just go, oh, it's just a character. Yeah. Character I created that I own the rights to. And it's been a long-ass time. So, it's whatever, man. Just look. I, I guess I can watch The Ranch, just look at it as the character, not Danny Masterson. Yeah. Because I've seen parts one and two. Because I don't even... I just think of him as the character, not Danny Masterson. Right. And then the final thing, man. Are you going to do it? Are you really going to do it? Fuck yeah, man. Next week, starting Wednesday into Thursday, when it comes out, man, I'm seeing it at fucking 8.20. Man, two weeks away from Star Wars episode fucking 8, The Last Jedi. And any of you motherfuckers that know me, cooking all the collectibles I have don't mean shit to my love for Star Wars. I'll kill a motherfucker. For Star Wars. I mean, I'd probably kill someone else for, like, Pops and DBZ, too, but fuck you. Star Wars is my shit. I am hype level fucking 4,000, motherfucker. I will find you, put your teeth on a fucking curb, and stomp on your fucking head. That's how sad I am for Star Wars. Well, you've awoken the beast, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm even scared. And a little aroused. No. It's bad enough that... It's all started with my hand being in your fucking puppet ass to start talking. We don't talk about that. It's like Brian Griffin, man. We don't talk about his origins. Both of them, the one where they had him when he was a puppy and the one from the earlier seasons where he was found in homeless and all that other shit. Yeah, I know. I don't like that either in Family Guy. That they kind of just fuck their own continuity. Hey, it doesn't... Stop it! Don't, I don't want to talk about Family Guy, man. I want to end this shit. Regularly Beasley. <laughs> Weed <you> banana. <laughs> Take it away, dude. <laughs> You've been listening to Gassy Radio. Happy holidays! Say ho, ho, ho! ho, 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 ho.